Hey, what's up? My name's Samuel Leeds. Thank you so much for coming to this video. I'm going to share something with you in a moment, which is like my biggest secret. Super golden nugget. I want to talk to you about, about negotiation. There's two words that I use all the time when I'm negotiating. And I see people negotiating. They're trying to get deals. They're offering on properties. And they're just saying the wrong words. They're just doing the wrong language. So I want to tell you what I do when I'm negotiating a property deal. The first thing is this. Never be the first person to make the first figure. So you're, when you watch me doing live deals, you're always notice that I'll ask questions such as, if I was to buy the property cash tomorrow, what would be the lowest that you'd be able to accept and still live with? And then I'll shut up and I'll wait to hear their figure. And sometimes if they're smart, they'll say, well, what figure were you thinking? Because they know, they know that the person to put the first figure forward is the person that usually loses. If they make you give the first figure, next rule, never offer on a property unless you are embarrassed. <laughs> So the first rule is make them put the figure in first, but if they don't, the second rule is never offer on a property unless you're embarrassed of the figure. If you're not embarrassed, then chances are your offer is too high. So put forward an offer that's like really low. Third rule is be really specific in your offer. If the property's offer 100,000, don't say, I'll give you 80, because then what they'll say is they'll say, well, let's meet you at, let's do 90 halfway house. So if it's on for 100, don't say 80, say, I can, I can offer you, 81,250 pounds. Because when you put forward a really specific offer, even though you might, it might look a bit stupid or a bit strange, it, what it's saying to them is it's saying that you've really thought long and hard about your offer and for some reason you've calculated it at that and they're more likely to say yes. Or what they might do is they might say, mm, how about round it up to 82? And then you have a deal rather than meet me in the middle at 90. So always be specific. But the biggest thing that I do all the time, I use these two words. I use these two words probably every day whenever I'm negotiating, whenever I'm putting forward offers. And these two words are fantastic if you are a deal packager or a deal sourcer. Also, if you're looking at a property that looks really good, but you don't want to make a formal, formal offer because you just want to do a bit of research and due diligence, but you do want to put an offer forward and you do want to seal something. So these are the two words that I always use. And the two words are if would. What do I mean by if would? If I was to offer you 82,000, would that be something that you'd be open to? That's if would. If I was to would. And then if they say, um, 82, ah, go on, yeah, I could. You've not officially offered 82. You just said if I was to offer 82. Would that be something that you'd be able to accept? So if they say yes, you, then you can just say, all right, awesome, I I'm really glad. I just need to go ahead and crunch a couple of numbers and confirm for definite, I'll get back to you tomorrow. <laughs> Boom, you just use the if would offer. The reason it's so awesome is because it gives you, it then gives you time. It's also really good because when you're speaking almost in hypothetical language, you know, so um, if I was to buy cash tomorrow, um, what would, be the lowest if would. What would be the lowest that, that you'd be able to accept and still live with? You're speaking hypothetically. If I was to offer you in cash, what would? You haven't said that you're gonna buy cash tomorrow. You just said if, hypothetically. Then they'll give you their lowest. Then you know what their bottom line is. You can then work from there. So there's just a few tips, a few strategies on when I'm negotiating properties. This is Mentoring Monday. So you can, Mentoring Monday, you hit your questions below and I always answer them in the first hour. Uh, TV Tuesday, usually you see me out on the road you know, doing deals, negotiating. If you've not seen my financial freedom challenge or any of the videos where I'm out negotiating in real life, maybe in the States, you really need to just check out and binge watch some of this channel because there's some gold dust on there. And don't forget to come to a property investors crash course. It's free. I don't even allow adverts on this channel. It's free because it's my mission to see you guys successful. As long as one condition, when you become financially free, please tell me so I can get you on winners on a Wednesday. If I find out that you've become successful because of my training and you've not told me, I will hunt you down. Subscribe. I'll see you next time.